Almost a century ago, Paris met Josephine Baker. A young woman from across the Atlantic who became a new kind of celebrity in a city that was hungry for American idols. Josephine Baker was the girl who left St. Louis to come to Europe to find freedom. Baker had fled segregation in Missouri and was enchanted with the freedom and acceptance she found in France. But there was racism here too, both in her roles on stage and in her daily life. Madam Josephine. Speaking to the BBC years later, she explained how she fought against it, adopting 12 children from around the world that she nicknamed her Rainbow Tribe. These children represent an example of real brotherhood. They show to people that it is possible to live together if we so wish to. Now. One of her children says he never thought his mother was cool until he learnt Mick Jagger was a fan. She was uh, very protective, very close to, to, to us when she was there because sometimes she was away. And uh, uh, she wanted for us uh, a, a good education, uh, so sometimes she could be uh, a little bit strict when we were doing bad things. Baker used her celebrity to campaign against racism and intolerance and also to pass information for the French resistance during the Second World War. This is one of the greatest honours France can bestow, a seat in the resting place of its national heroes. Josephine Baker is the first black woman to be honoured here, a member of France's wartime resistance movement and a lifelong campaigner against racism. Tonight, almost a century after she performed there, Josephine Baker will be honoured at the Bal Blomé nightclub in Paris with a tribute show. I'm not trying to be Josephine. I cannot be Josephine. She's too... Uh, it's enormous. She's too big for me. <laughs> Idealist and idol, singer and spy. Her trademark song, J'ai deux amours, a love song to Paris. The city that claimed her and has never let her go. Lucy Williamson, BBC News, Paris.